What's going on, everybody? This is Elder Jacoby Owens coming to you November 4th for Testimony Tuesday. And I have uh, two brief testimonies I want to share. One is, uh, but they're both roughly around the same thing. It's about uh, things that are taken for granted, rather. You know, one, I thank the Lord for um, today. Today exactly is my youngest boy's birthday, you know, and I, I thank the Lord that he allowed him to see one full year of life on this earth and life with life with us because he truly is a gift you know and i'm thankful that um my other two boys one was born with gastroschisis and the other one is the one they tried to suggest that we abort with the the calcium deposit on his heart and fluid on his liver or kidney or something like that and um you know they had the, the complications but this one, the, the youngest one, had no complications whatsoever. And, you know, a lot of times we take our good health and the good health of people around us or or that this just the fact that we can use all of our limbs, our arms, our legs, our hands, our fingers. You know, we take it for granted. You know, like this is just an everyday thing. And, and for most of us it is. But when you find, when you lose that ability... Then you become like, oh man, you you really, you really uh, appreciate what you had. You know what I mean. So I'm I'm thankful that uh, my baby boy saw one year today, and uh, that God has kept him in good health. And you know I've shared the testimony before about losing the ability to walk and having to learn how to walk and everything again. But um, one thing that hasn't really healed is I every day. Some days are worse, some days are, uh, are better. But every day I have a pain in my side and in my back. You know, some days it's more sensitive, sometimes it's more painful than others. But I thank the Lord for that pain. And that may sound crazy about thanking the Lord for the pain that I have on a daily basis. But it reminds me of where God has brought me from. You know, it reminds me that, hey, when I when I get this pain, it reminds me that he did allow me to walk again. You know, he allows me to use the parts of my body that I couldn't use, even though I have the pain. And it's not like, oh, yeah, you have pain again. But it's just something like, oh, I got pain, and it, and the pain's not, it's not something that I desire, but yet and still, the, the scriptures say, all things work together for the good of those who love him. And I know I truly love the Lord. And um, I understand that, and, and, I, and I put together that that pain that I feel, it reminds me of where he's brought me from, you know. Well, you could say, well, you believe that God will heal and God will do this, that, and the other, which I do believe God will heal, you know. But he also, Paul sought the Lord uh, three times about a thorn he had in his flesh, an issue he was going through. And the Lord said, you know, my grace is sufficient for you. You know what I mean? God is able to heal. He's able to do these things, but sometimes, you know, it is his will that he won't do it, you know. But the thing is, like I said before, like we're constantly saying, we have to trust God. We have to trust his grace. We have to trust in his mercy. You know, we have to trust in his love that he's going to give us what we need, and not more than we can bear. You know, so those are my testimonies today. Um, remember, if you have a testimony you want to share, um... Feel free to leave me an email at jacodio at gmail.com or you can leave a comment below. Uh, if you have any prayer requests, I do Monday morning prayer uh, where, we, where we try to come together on one mind, one accord and address the topics of the day, of the week, of our life uh, or just what's going on in the world. And uh, we come together one mind, one accord before the Lord and, uh, and pray unto him. You know, it says where two or three are gathered in my name, I'm in the midst of thee. You know, God is so big that I can be here in America and someone could be in China and we can be both praying together. And he's in the midst of us because there's no people put limits on God. We got to take the limits off of God. He's everywhere. He's omniscient. He's omnipresent. He's omnipotent. He's every he's every, he's the he's it. He's everything, you know, so feel free to send me a comment or email with any prayer requests that you may have. 
Um, also remember tomorrow is the word on Wednesday where I will take a scripture, talk about it very briefly. Uh, I call it dropping nuggets, give you a little nugget, a little something that'll get your mind, uh, get your, get your gears turning, get your mind working and, and thinking on some things that maybe you didn't think about before. Maybe you have, you know, maybe it's something that reminds you. But it's not a full Bible study. It's just something to get you uh, encouraged to do some reading on your own, get you motivated or, or what have you. All right. But until then, everybody, be blessed next time.